Hello and welcome to this video on adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. Now let's just say we were adding some just normal fractions with just normal numbers. How would we do this? Well we know that one method that would work would be to multiply together the denominators to get a common denominator so we could do it all over 15 and then well, 2 over 3 is going to be what over 15? Well, if we times that 3 by 5, then we also have to times the 2 by the 5. So we almost like diagonally multiply this 2 by the 5. So that would be 10. And then we add. Now, that 5 got multiplied by 3 to get to 15. So the 4 also has to get multiplied by 3. And 4 diagonally multiplied by that 3 would be 12. So you can see one method to add fractions is to multiply the denominators and then what we say cross multiply the numerators. So that 2 gets multiplied by the 5 to get 10 and then we've got add and then the 4 gets multiplied by the 3 diagonally so we get 12. And exactly the same method works when we've got algebraic fractions. Maths doesn't suddenly stop working just because we're using letters instead of numbers. So what would we do here? Well we could multiply those denominators so x times y is just xy. That 1 gets multiplied by the y. 1 times y is just y. We've got the add there in the middle and then the 2 gets multiplied by the x which is 2x. Now let's just do some examples using this. We want to simplify the following by combining them into a single algebraic fraction. So we've got 1, we've got x over 2 plus y over 3. We do what we did before, we can do it as a single fraction immediately. 2 times 3 is 6, and then that x gets diagonally multiplied by 3. We cross multiply the numerators, x times 3 is 3x. Then we've got add, and then the y gets diagonally multiplied by that 2, which is 2y. And that's our final fraction. We've got a single fraction there, and we can't simplify that any further. Question 2, we've got x plus 1 over 4 plus x minus 3 over 5. Let's do the similar thing. 4 times 5 is 20, so we multiply the denominators and then we're going to cross multiply the numerators. So the x plus 1 gets multiplied by the 5. Now you could do that in your head immediately, but I'm just going to use brackets for a moment. So 5 times x plus 1 and then we've got add and then we've got 4 times x minus 3. Now let's expand it out before we simplify it. So we've got 5x plus 5 plus 4x minus, that's 4 times minus 3, which is minus 12, all over 20. And that is equal to, well, 5x plus 4x collects to give 9x. And then we've got 5 minus 12, which is minus 7, all over 20. Right, let's do some more examples. Question 3, we've got 4 over x plus 5 over 3 minus x. Again, let's multiply the denominators. So we got x times 3 minus x. Now an interesting point to make here is that it doesn't matter whether you leave it factorised like this or whether you expand. Neither is considered simpler than the other, so it's absolutely fine to leave that factorised. But we still need to cross multiply the numerators, so we've got 4 times 3 minus x, I'm just going to do that in my head. 4 lots of 3 minus x is 12 minus 3x, so we've got 12 minus 3x, and then we've got plus 5 times x, so plus 5x, and that is equal to where we've got 12, we've got minus 3x plus 5x, minus 3 plus 5 is plus 2, so it's 12 plus 2x all over x, 3 minus x. And we can leave our answer like that. Now we've got question 4, we have 5 over x minus 2 minus 3 over x plus 2. And we do what we usually do, we multiply the denominators, so we've got x minus 2 times x plus 2, and we can leave that factorised, as I said before. And now we've got in the numerators, we've got 5 times x plus 2. I'm not going to do that in my head. I'll show you why in a second. And then it's minus this time, because we're subtracting 3 times x minus 2. Now the reason I'm being very careful and not expanding immediately in my head is that 
you have to be very careful with this minus, because when we do the minus 3 times the minus 2, that's going to become positive 6. So we have to be very careful there. So let's expand out the numerator. The reason we have to expand out this, but not this, is this is factorised. This is not factorised, because the outermost thing is a subtraction. And it's only factorised if the outermost thing is a multiplication. Right, so let's expand. We've got 5x plus 10 minus 3x. And then minus 3 times minus 2 is plus 6. That's such a common student error, so be very careful. We've got x minus 2 times x plus 2. And then let's just collect like terms here. We've got 5x minus 3x, which is 2x. And we've got 10 plus 6, which is 16. And then at the bottom, we've still got this. And you can expand out the denominator, but you don't need to. If you did, it would be x squared minus 4 at the bottom. Right, now question 5. Now, this one is hard. I've never seen it in a normal Edexcel GCSE paper, but it has occurred in a, I, this was in an IGCSE paper, and it also appears in the IGC further maths, the AQA qualification. So let's try this. We've got 5 over 2x minus 6 minus x plus 2 over x squared minus 4x plus 3. Now this one we do in quite a different way. We firstly, we need to factorise anything we can. So this looks like a quadratic that we can factorise. So let's do that. That's, we've still got 5 over 2x minus 6. But we're going to factorise this here. So we've got minus x plus 2 over. Now we need two numbers which add to give minus 4 and times to give 3, well those numbers are minus 3 and minus 1, so let's write it as x minus 3, x minus 1. Now what I forgot to do here is I forgot to factorise this as well, so really what I should have written here is what we can factorise out the 2, so we've got 2 brackets and it's going to be x minus 3. Now before, what we've always done is multiply the two denominators, but you know, for example, if I had say a half plus a quarter, you wouldn't generally multiply the 2 and the 4 to say, well, let's have a denominator of 8. We'd actually say, well, this 2 here, if we multiplied it by 2 to get 4, so we have 2 over 4, now we can add these together to get 3 quarters. So we, in this particular case, we didn't need to multiply the 2 and the 4 to get 8. We could just multiply this something so that they were then common. And we can do the same thing here. We've got 2x minus 3 and x minus 3 times x minus 1. Are there things that we can multiply these denominators by such that these will be the same? Well, they both have an x minus 3 in common, but this thing doesn't have an x minus 1. So we need to multiply the top and the bottom by x minus 1 in this fraction. So we times the bottom by x minus 1, so we need to also times the top by x minus 1. And then minus, now this here doesn't have a 2 like this one does, so we're going to multiply top and bottom by 2. So we have 2x plus 2. And that means we can now have this denominator of 2x minus 3x minus 1, because it's common. And we can just subtract these things. So we've got, we've got 5x minus 5, let's expand out at the same time. And then it's minus 2x, be very careful here, but minus 2 times positive 2, which is minus 4. Now if we simplify that, we've got 5x minus 2x, which is 3x. And we've got minus 5 minus 4, which is minus 9. And we've still got this at the bottom here. And at this point, we think, can we simplify it any further? And we actually can. We need to factorise this again. So we factorise out the 3, and we get x minus 3, 3 brackets x minus 3. And then we've got 2, x minus 3, x minus 1 at the bottom. Now, can you see that we have a common factor of x minus 3 at the top and the bottom? So we can cross those out, and that just leaves us with 3 over 2 brackets x minus 1. And you, it is acceptable to write 2x minus 2 at the bottom. That was quite a difficult one, wasn't it? Now, to finish off, let's do these two test your understanding questions here. We've got y minus 3 over 2 plus y plus 7 over 5. And the second one, we've got 4 over 2x plus 5 minus 2 over x minus 3. So you may want to pause the video at this point to have a go at these. Right, let's do the first one. We've got y minus 3 over 2 plus y plus 7 over 5. Now, as always, we multiply these denominators, so it's over 10. 
and then this thing here gets multiplied by 5. I'm just going to do it in my head. So we got 5y minus 15, but you could use brackets first. And then we've got plus in the middle, plus, and then we've got 2 times y plus 7. Now, 2 lots of y plus 7 is 2y plus 14. So we've got that. And then if we just simplify the numerator by collecting like terms, we're going to have 5y plus 2y, which is 7y. And we've got minus 15 plus 14, which is minus 1, and that's all over 10. And we've got this second test your understanding question. We've got 4 over 2x plus 5 minus 2 over x minus 3. So we multiply the denominators. We've got 2x plus 5 multiplied by x minus 3. We don't need to expand those out. And then we cross multiply the numerator. So we've got 4 times x minus 3. Now I'm going to leave it bracketed for the moment because I want to be really careful with this minus in the middle. So we've got minus and then 2 times 2x plus 5. And then let's just expand out the numerator. We've got 4x minus 12 minus 4x and we've got minus 2 times positive 5 which is minus 10. And then we still got that numerator there, which we can leave factorised. And then if we just collect like terms, we have 4x minus 4x, which just cancels. And we have minus 12 minus 10, which is minus 22. And then let's just leave the denominator as it is. So that is the answer.